all uh, Atlantic sharp nose. I'm looking for their older brothers. Pretty cool. So this is probably the second Atlantic sharp nose that I caught. Again, these sharks, they don't grow much larger than about three and a half to four feet. And a three and a half foot Atlantic sharp nose is a full grown shark. You'll notice one of the second to last fin, if it has a black mark on it or a black hue, that's typically a juvenile Atlantic sharp nose. But these guys, they run in groups they, they run in small schools, so if you're catching one, chances are within the proximity, you're going to find maybe two or three others. And you can catch them on a 5 out hook, 30-pound um, steel leader's fine. I'm using 45 in this case. But um, the rest of the afternoon was pretty decent. The fishing tapered off around noon, 1 o'clock, and I ended up catching... A lot of bottom feeders the rest of the afternoon using this jigging technique basically I'm just using a Carolina rig and instead of fishing it off of the bottom um, and letting the weight sit on the bottom what I do is I just pitch it to the side I let it drop to the bottom when I feel it hit bottom I reel it up maybe six or so inches from the bottom and there's a lot of fish that congregate underneath the kayak and um, some of the smaller fish I might cut up and throw overboard. I might cut them up in little pieces and use it as chum. And that seemed to work really well. Um, it attracted a lot of fish towards my kayak and around the area. Now, I will say this. I did spot some juvenile tarpon. And I was fishing free-lined pinfish. And when I did that, I made the mistake because I just wasn't up to par with free lining for saltwater fishing and trolling techniques in that I didn't use a trailer hook. So not only are you supposed to hook the fish you know, by the nose or through the lip, but also have a trailer hook the last third of the body. The problem that I had was when I pitched it out there, I had one really big fish hit it and run with it. I couldn't identify it, but I knew it wasn't a shark given the teeth marks on the fish once I retrieved it. It wasn't a shark at all. It was either a tarpon um, or a kingfish or maybe even a cobia. But I had two strikes like that. And the second they felt me pull, they pulled it out of their mouth. Um, and they, they dumped it out of their mouth the second they felt tension. But had I had a treble hook on there, I would have caught um, both of those fish for sure because their teeth marks right. were two-thirds of the way up. Um, from the fish. They, they came from behind it and ate it. Had they come from the head, then I would have hooked both fish. But like I said, unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention and really didn't have um, both my free lines equipped with the treble and the trailer hook that would have put the fish on the boat for me. Um, that being said, I never caught a tarpon before. Um, or any other large pelagic such as a cobia or a kingfish and that's what I was after so I was a little disappointed with myself because I wasn't really prepared however these Atlantic sharp nose gave me um, pretty pretty good time out there and then I started jigging with 
the Carolina rig and a shrimp later in the afternoon and started catching pompano, flounder, um, and more pinfish. I did catch one average blue at 14 inches and I put him in the cooler and used him as cup bait. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. This is just um, a brief fishing report for Indian Beach, North Carolina. I was out there beyond the breakers approximately three quarters to a mile out and past the third sandbar. Average depth at that distance was around 20 to 23 feet and I did see some Spanish mackerel working. I did try to work them. However, I was using a 10 gram silver spoon and when I did cast at a few fish that were blitzing, I noticed that when I retrieved the lure to the kayak, there were Spanish following it, but they weren't committing to it. So there was something wrong with my presentation. I'm gonna have to refit and re-kit, go back out there and uh, try again. Thank <laughs> you.